Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. We are your they. We are your them. Oh my god, how's anybody else going to remember if I can't even remember? Welcome to my channel. It's uh, February 23rd, 2023. And I came across an article today that I thought was very interesting in light of all that's going on in the world. People losing their children because their children have decided to... Uh, become trans in some way. So, uh, and we've got the migrants that are going to be overtaking everybody pretty soon. And I came across this article. I'm going to read part of it for you. It's from the alphanews.org site. St. Louis Park District. St. Louis Park District agrees to let Muslim families opt out of LGBT curriculum. Ooh. We believe that we have a sacred obligation to teach the principles of our faith to our children without being undermined by the schools, said one of the parents. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe this? If you were born in America, you have less rights than a Muslim. I'm not going to read the whole article. Um, St. Louis Park Public Schools will now let parents decide whether their children should be subjected to curriculum that is LGBTQ affirming. This change comes after two public interest law firms, True North Legal and First Le Legal Institute, sent letters to the district, to the school district, saying that the district's previous denials of opt out request violated the First Amendment and state laws. In 2023, six Muslim families requested that St. Louis Park Public Schools provide notice before LGBTQ affirming books were discussed in class. These families who immigrated to Somalia over the last two decades also, re also requested the ability to opt their children out from participating in the curriculum. Okay, so, uh, so they did. <laughs> and, uh, I, I just, you know, I see the videos. I've just seen, uh, I think, two videos in the last week of parents that uh, actually had their children removed and taken to another state to get gender-affirming care. All of this is to divide families and to make people pissed off. I'm going to read you the, the pissed off part where I'm going to get to. Um Okay, according to previous press statements from the two law firms, third and fourth grade children who were members of the six families were exposed to LBGTQ content in October 2023. That's pretty current. These LBGTQ-centric readings were also allegedly accompanied with the teacher's commentary on LGBTQ identity. This situation caused significant confusion and distress among the, among the six families. Duh, you know, do you think, really? What do you think it's doing to all the American parents that are being forced to do this, to accept this? Okay, Fatuma Ishrat, Ish Arshat, one of the mothers involved in the matter, expressing her gratitude, saying, We believe that we have a sacred obligation to teach the principles of our faith to our children without being undermined by the schools. We are eternally grateful to First Liberty and True North Legal for helping us and to, and to the school for recognizing the importance of our faith. So while they're, you know, over there uh, bowing down to make them happy, they're also doing uh, transgendered uh, people funerals in a big old Catholic church in New York. The, the writing is on the wall. <laughs> Evil has taken over. Uh, when the parents first brought their concerns to the school board, they were chastised for their lack of solidarity with the LGBTQ community. I respect your religious beliefs. This is what uh, Sarah Davis, school board member Sarah Davis. I respect your religious beliefs. And also, as a queer person in a marginalized community, I would hope and expect solidarity, said the school board member Sarah Davis in an October 2023 meeting. Muslims communities have been historically marginalized and so have queer communities. 
Well, I'm going to sit here and call bullshit on that. Muslim communities have not been historically marginalized. I specifically remember 9-11. I remember when it happened. I remember uh, all the stuff on the news said, don't be mean to the Muslims. Just because there's a few doesn't mean they're all bad. And I believe that's what happened. I didn't see a lot of hate crimes against Muslims after that. I do not believe that. Maybe they're marginalized in there somewhere else, but not in America. That is a lie. In queer communities, you know what? Before 1990, all those communities were in the closet. People knew that there was gay people. People didn't care. People weren't thinking about it. Uh, they weren't. Not until AIDS. And then they had a, le a legitimate reason to be worried, you know. Uh, gay men were dying of a disease that was, uh, you know, communicable. You could get it. We didn't know if you could get it from the spit or whatever. Regardless of this, queer communities, they've never really had a community. Maybe, you know, they're friends in a closet. That's it. There was no, uh, definitely not en enough of them that you think they could take over the way they're taking over now. They're taking over everything. And, uh, and uh, the Muslims are... Uh, <laughs> They're standing their ground, unlike Americans. How come these lawyers weren't, um, aren't fighting for some Americans? Maybe some of these American pa parents need to get in contact with these attorneys, because apparently they can do what a lot of the other people cannot do. And uh, yeah, we're going to start there.